Hey everyone. Hey everyone. So today in this video, we are going to talk about uh, Google Search Console API with a specific utility, which is URL inspection, right? Um, I think you as an SEO often must have this use case where you want to check uh, indexing status of your list of URLs. Uh, often we see that sometimes it get kind of misreported um, in terms of whether the URLs are indexed or not. Sometimes it sees that it is crawled but not indexed, but then the status changes and you don't have up-to-date information. Um, so the script will help you look at the indexing status of um, of, your, of the list of URLs. And in this case, uh, I'm scraping the XML sitemap and then we will get uh, the indexing status using URL inspection API in GSE API. Uh, and then we'll transform the data and export it to the uh, Excel or CSV, right? Now, if you look at the API reference, there are, there are a few things that you can do. And we are specifically talking about the URL inspection, um, right? Uh, if you want to access other codes of this is the sixth video. So there are other five videos which are already published. So you should be able to check the codes here. And there is a uh, YouTube channel that you should be able to check out as well. Now, I'll close the LinkedIn and I have uh, <clears throat> written the codes for written the code for the sixth video, which is your inspection API and I can we can walk through this. Um, if you are coming from, I, I don't know, like first or second video, then you won't see the structured like class of GAC API. But in this case, uh, I have, uh, I think I started doing this from the fifth video, if I remember correctly. So uh, here is the entire like Google search console class that I have created. And then there are individual functions that help us do uh, things that we want to do. So the first one is authentication authorization. The second one will help us get the list of the websites in our account. The third one is about getting uh, the search analytics data. And the fourth one is uh, your inspection. And we'll be using basically uh, this one. Uh, and the way it works is uh, it goes to, it sends basically this request using this. Uh, like JSON, um, and then we should be able to get indexing status for that. Um, I clearly remember that when this UR inspection API was launched, uh, I got to know how to use this from this LinkedIn post. So here is a shout out to Tobias, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, I did, I think, comment here as well. So. Uh, thanks for the the share. Uh, now, okay, so let's run this. Um, and then the next step is, of course, we need to have our credentials. The The next step, next step that comes is we authenticate and authorize. Um, so let's authenticate that. Um, so here is the code that we got. Now the GSE has been authenticated and authorized right now let's get a list of properties so uh, i have already run this code so you will see the outputs uh, but we have these three websites in this particular account right we are going to use uh this trident pbi.in one so um before so let me close all of this because now everything is done um now the first code that you're looking at is using that URL inspection function um, in the in the class code that we have written and it needs three arguments. One is the page URL. So basically it is asking what is that page that you are looking to um, get status of state indexing status for and then we have the website like which property that you will be looking into and then there is this language code. Um, I don't clearly know this, but I think this is about in which language you would like to receive the, the status. Um, so let's uh, run this code. So this is now making a call to that API 
and it will fetch the data so once this is complete uh, we will have the data with us so let's print this and now we are getting this so let me print a uh, little bit differently so it's visible okay so now we can see that there is this in this dictionary there's this key and then the, there is this entire value so it says inspection results um, so let's you can also do something like this where you say json formatter um, and if you go here and you process then you will be able to see this in a kind of a little bit of a better way right so we have this entire inspection result and within that we first receive the inspection result link so you can use this link and i think go to gse as well let's try that out uh, i haven't tried it uh, but i think this should work yeah so this is your view um then it is giving you all of this data into once again the the dictionary format so indexing res result says that the verdict is passed um, coverage is submitted and indexed robots txt state is allowed indexing is allowed um, when was it crawled last the 28th of july uh, page fetch state was successful the google selected canonical is this user selected canonical is this referring urls are these two crawled as mobile right now this is great like especially uh, of course the indexing state is very useful but then this is also super useful because um, if you remember uh, I I just posted um, this framework which is a very very simplified very very simple framework um, and then I also have something else let me quickly open that up which is about indexing strategy a uh, framework so if you look into this specifically let's say so you have indexable um, urls uh, and then sorry this one yeah uh, let's say you have non-indexable urls where the 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 canonicals are different than the user selected uh, at this issue you should be able to use that data and say okay i am trying to index all of these urls but my use so user declared canonical which is what you declared is not matching what google is selecting as a canonical which means that there could be issues with uh, i don't know duplicated content or maybe like very less interlink merged with duplicated content or just like rendering issues overall um so so these three things are very very useful and the reason why you would like to have this data in bulk is for for this reason so okay let's get back to it so we uh, fetched the the indexing status for one single url now what we would like to do is we would like to do this at um kind of at scale right um so I have written this class here, uh, sorry, the function here. Um, so what this function does is it fetches the sitemap URL. So it works in two different ways. One, first, it fetches the, um, so let me run this, uh, which is just the function. And then there is this a little bit of a code. So I'll explain. Uh, so it will just ask you for your sitemap URL. So in this case, I have this page sitemap for this website, which has like 26 URLs. Um, and first it set up the headers, which means that when the website, oh, sorry, when the script or Google Colab server will make a call to the, um, to the, to the WordPress website where the uh, XML sitemaps are hosted, what is the user agent or the headers that we would like to, we would like to send then um, yeah, this will make a request, which will be the get request. Uh, basically, it will say, use this sitemap URL that I am providing as an argument, and then use this headers. Uh, then it will print response. Then 
uh, it uses the beautiful soup which is a scraping library and it says that okay what you're gonna get is the response uh, and parse them as an XML uh, and then extract all these URLs uh, if it has image location URLs then don't use it just basically use the the ones that are in LOC and then uh, it says this all will be the list uh, then it is saying that transform that list into a data frame which says uh, sitemap URLs DF right so for now I'm just gonna quickly print um, what comes up so that we can refer to how the code works um, so let's run this again and here I have defined this variable which is sitemap URL then I'm running this function uh, so let's say running the function uh, and then print the df or data frame right i am going to do this so that it prints better okay so let's run this code okay so it is running it did run uh let's look at what comes up right so the first print is the response status so it says that yeah okay i got the response it's 200 server so responded then it is printing the entire soup which is what it received as a text and what it passed as an xml uh, so now let me hide this one and run it again and now we got two things uh three things sorry so the response obviously and then there is this list of urls which is here so these are all the urls that uh, that we got um it will be like the huge list and then we have this data frame which was uh 20 which is 26 urls um so let me remove this as well or i can keep it if you want to run it so i'll hide all of it and uh, let me run this again so okay got it so we received this site um the data frame with all these urls we will use this to um to get the indexing status now what i'm doing here is that just so the video doesn't become like way longer uh, i am using uh this feature of data frame where i can say dot head five which means that it will just use first five url to get indexing status let's do 10 and it will do the 10 urls uh of, from from the uh, from the data frame that we created now uh, I'm going to remove this option too uh, so now the next step is to inspect all of these URLs one by one right so we have URL list which is this data frame that we will be passing then we have website URL which we declared and then we have language code which was which is basically also declared now we create an empty list where we say hey i'm gonna once this run through i'm going to um save all of these responses into inspection results list or array right and to iterate through this data frame there is this specific way to do that which says uh, iter rows or iterate rows um so it says for index rows in url list iter rows the page URL is going to be this, which is look into the rows and this column will contain the value of URL, which will become our page URL. Um, then just use the same inspect API, which is what we used in the first one. Then it says extract this JSON output, which basically saying that I don't want all of this. I just want whatever is an inspection result and the indexing um, status which is this so we are we are not basically using this um, so once we get this data the it will say the the fetch was successful uh, and it will append it to inspection results uh, and then once this is done so it will finish it creating it will transform the dictionaries that we have into inspection df and then what we are doing is 
we are merging the initial list which is url list with the inspection df so that we have the the holistic data right so let's run this um so let me do this differently so here is this uh, function and here we are invoking the function so it is looking at the first url it is making a api call and it is fetching the data so we got the data uh, and it says the fetch was successful so we got two three so it will go all one by one so while it is scraping um, I'll go here and we'll, we'll run this again as well but this is how the data will uh, will look like uh, initially I just did it for five URLs so what you got is basically here is your URL which is I don't know what this is because it is hidden um, and it says the verdict is passed, coverage state is submitted and index. It is allowed. Last call time is this. Google canonical is this. User selected canonical is this. Referring URLs are these. Um, and it is also referencing whether this URL is in sitemap. Um, sometimes it might not come up. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I haven't submitted the sitemap. Uh, that's why the sitemap. I have submitted a site. I'm not sure why it is not uh, pulling this data. Um, but this is a way to go about it. Uh, so we have referring URLs. Yeah, I don't know why the sitemap is not working out. But okay, we got all the results. So here we go. Here are the 10 um, list. Now you can expand as, as much as you want. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind is that there's a limit of checking 2000 URLs per property. Uh, what we mean by property is that the, the when, you, when you have that website URL, you could also have a subfolder as a website URL, a subdomain as a website URL. So if let's say I have 20,000 URL, then the way to solve for that is to add um, slash products as a subfolder and then you run through that again. So that will allow you to do the 2000 more checks. So similarly, if you have like, I don't know, resources or blogs or or you can go as many uh, subfolder levels deep as you would like to um, and you should be able to increase your, your quota on, uh, on, on that. So, okay, once that is scraped, I will... Um, so let me remove this because this was the file earlier. So I have removed it now and then I run this code. It will export it to Excel and then I can download it. And this should be, uh, it should be visible here. And now I got everything that I wanted in an Excel. And that's that. Um, here you could import this uh, from like simple Excel or CSV and you could just have the same data frame with this uh, as a column name and it should work out uh, to check the indexing status for some other uh, list of URLs as well. So I think uh, that's it and uh, let me know if you want to extend this further. Uh, there are a couple of thoughts that I have on this is that um, what we are doing here is just like simply running the script now you can extend this and you can you can think of this as like uh, uh, connecting it to the database and running the script somewhere in i don't know google cloud function or something where you have a list of urls and you check the status daily uh, and once the status is checked you pass the data to the to the database and you will have uh, indexing status checked every day um, and you can you could you know expand that script however you like based on your use case um, but just this script is out there um, and just learning a little bit on how to deal with the database uh, would would help you a lot so that's all uh, from my end uh, let me know in the comments how would you like to expand the script or something else you would like to see um, uh, would be would be happy to work on that. Thanks, folks.